today on Pocket Farm Tambourine, we're going to see if we can build the chicken coop. Next week we've got 11 baby chicks coming and no chicken coop to put them in yet. So first things first, we've got a big pile of timber here that I have no idea what is here and we're going to investigate and see what we can build. Be able to use on a big. We're going to build a big trailer chicken coop one day, which we can use that for collecting some rainwater. We found a bunch of copper logs, fence posts, which there's no fences on our property at the moment. Internal fences, so they'll come in handy too. Some assorted sort of timber there. A fair few lengths of this 100 by 35 timber and a heap of 70 by 35 timber which we can definitely use some of that for building a chicken coop. And another little good score that we found was these old fence panels which I think we might make up a just simple little A-frame chicken, chicken coop for now. Just put a shelter over one end and some perches and make a little door up the other end and pretty much ready to go. So I've just come down to another spot on the farm where there's all this old corrugated roofing for a, to build a carport apparently. Um, just to collect some more material for the chicken coop. And we found some good water lengths of I'm just opening this the wrong way so in case the snake comes out at me. Um, short lengths of corrugated iron roofing. And I think there's two good lengths here that'll be good over one end of the A-frame, right here, aluminium cladding panel here that we're going to use at one end for a bit of shelter and a bunch of different materials here and at one end of the coop to sort of keep the rain out and a bit of shade we've got found some of old sheeting down in the pile and now we've just got to put it all together I'm just going to do a time lapse of it together because I'm just going to make it up as I go so there's no point in me explaining it all the way through and here we go
Alright right, guys, and here it is, the finished product. It's pretty rustic, but considering we got all the, all the uh, materials just from around the place and some leftover screws that I've had, it's completely free as well, so it is what it is. But we ended up putting a shelter at the back and it's got two little uh, two sticks in there that we they can perch on and keep out of the weather. And just by chance that the length of that just allows a bit of ventilation at the bottom as well. We use the aluminium cladding at the back so it's got a solid solid weather protection at the back. We just basically zip tied everything together and found some old strapping and however I could get it together that's how it went. So got a little security latch here, pretty professional. And this whole front opens up so a person can go in there and change food and water and stuff like that. And it'll be handy with all this mesh to be able to hang the food and water is off as well. And this one's going to be just for some baby chickens but in the future we'll have it out on the grass. So we attached the rope and it's got some timber skids on the bottom as well. So I haven't actually dragged it anywhere yet but it shouldn't be too hard to move. Sure, once we get it out on the grass, it'll be even easier to move. But well, that's it. Chicken coop done.